This is Josh White with JW Math Tutoring, and today I'm going to talk about this book, the official ACT prep guidebook, and whether or not you should consider purchasing it as you're preparing to take the ACT. So let's go ahead and get started. But life is a dream the calculus could never predict. Just one uh, real quick thing before we get started. Um, if you like this channel, like this video, of course, click the like button for the video itself. Uh, subscribe to my channel, you know, click to sign up for notifications so that way you get notified whenever I post another math related video, whether it's ACT or SAT or just general math content. So, as I mentioned, this video is going to be talking about the official ACT prep guidebook. Now, the version I have, you can see, is an old version. It's from 2020, uh, 2021. Uh, but this review is going to cover the uh, current version of the book, which is, you know, 2022 to 2023. So, the question is, should you purchase uh, this book? Should you consider uh, spending money on it? And my answer to that question is no. And here is why. Now, just... Uh, one thing I want to mention before I begin is uh, this is going to focus primarily on math and science review since those are the main subjects uh, that I tutor. So the perspective towards uh, English and reading might be a little bit different. So just keep that in mind. This is primarily geared towards reviewing or studying for math and science. The reason I do not recommend uh, purchasing the book is because of the six tests that are included in the book, Five of them are just official tests that were previously released that you can just find online for free. So, for example, here is the list, you should see it on the screen, of the six tests that are found in the book. Okay, again, five of them are previous tests that, <clears throat> you know, were released um, as TIRs. So you can see there's a couple from 2017, there's one from 2018, there's December 2019, and then there's also July 2020. So even though in the book they have these just, you know, made up form numbers um, that don't make any sense, like 22MC9, 19MC5, 20MC6, 21MC8, so on and so forth, these are the exact same tests uh, as those that you see listed there on the screen that was previous, previously released. So you go to Google, search for, you know, ACT form 74C PDF. You'll get multiple links where you can download, you know, the test and take it. Same thing with the other ones listed there. So five of the six tests in here, you can find online for free. So there's no reason to spend money on that. Now, I mean, one possible reason might be if you, I mean, don't have a printer and therefore can't print out these tests because ideally as you're completing practice tests for the ACT, you should try to simulate test conditions. So that means not looking at a screen and completing, you know, a PDF file on a screen, but instead printing it out and actually, you know, reading the problems on paper, you know, fill and filling in a bubble answer sheet on a printed out piece of paper. So if you don't have a printer or printing out, you know, these tests, especially if you're going to do all four sections, is going to be cost prohibitive, um, then, okay, yes, I can understand wanting to buy the book. You know, that totally uh, makes sense. But just to get the, but just in terms of getting the access to the material, there's no reason um, to buy the book for that purpose. And the other thing to keep in mind, too, is that although, yes, the book has explanations in it, for, say, the math section, uh, a lot of times they are not great. And what I mean by that is they only explain the problem in one manner, and it's usually the traditional way. Okay, a lot of times it's not the easiest way or the quickest way, and it doesn't involve, say, using a graphing calculator uh, where necessary or using some of the strategies or techniques like back solving or picking numbers. So, yes, it does include explanations, but um, a lot of times they're not great. And because, like I said, five of the six tests are uh, official previously released tests, you can just go to YouTube or Reddit or other places and you can find the explanations to any questions that um, you're not sure of. So, you know, you can do practice test one, practice test three, four, five, six, and then 
go to YouTube and look for the solutions to, you know, December 2019, form CO3, or, you know, June 2017, form 74C, so on and so forth. So that's another reason why, you know, it's basically not worth it, in my opinion, to purchase this book or to buy this book. Now, one uh, additional reason why you might want to consider purchasing it is that this new version, 2022-23, has basically a link to online tests that you can complete. And although, you know, the U.S. version of the test is still on paper, um, not available online yet, I mean, in theory, at some point in the future, it is going to switch to be available uh, to take online. So, yes, the book could give you uh, practice with that, um, but it's only one test that's included in it, which is um, online. So I don't think it's worth the price just to possibly get one online practice test. But if for whatever, but if, I mean, if you know, you feel it's worth it to spend the money uh, just to get that and to, you know, to be able to practice that manner, then okay, that's fine. That's understandable. There's, you know, there's nothing wrong with that in my opinion. So overall, like I said, should you buy the official ACT prep guidebook? My answer, my recommendation is no, unless... Uh, you are in one of you know several very specific situations, like I said, which is you don't have access to a printer or printing out lots of pages, you know, is going to be cost prohibitive. You know, because we're talking like hundreds of pages. Once you look at say six practice tests, and if you were going to print out you know uh, each of the four sections from each of those six practice tests. Um, so that would be the one specific situation. And then the other one, again, would be if you uh, really, really want the ability to do the online, um, <clears throat> you know, the online uh, practice test, just to prepare basically for the future, which we don't even know exactly when, uh, you know, the date that the test is going to be available online will happen. All right. So I hope you appreciated uh, this video. Uh, be on the lookout for more uh, math related videos on my channel, whether it's ACT, SAT, or just math in general.